Aquarius, welcome back for your mid-month read. Those of you who are new, a big warm welcome and returning subscribers, hello. Now, if you are needing the booking, like I said, the link is directly below. I have pulled the cards ahead of time and I've also pulled Element Energy and that is connected to your love interests, you know, their frequency, how they're looking at the direct situation and, and what is coming through for you. Now, your crowning energy mid-month, guys, for Aquarians, is you feel you're on a wrong path. You can't quite put your finger on it. It might be a psychoanalytical energy or directly you're resetting uh, the course of action of what you're going to do. It may be also intuitively you're actually realizing that you need to reset the course of the way you were going, which would make complete sense um, connected to the retrogrades we've had and the way that we have really been transforming ourselves. Now, although we may be away from Venus retrograde and other dynamics in our life, I have noticed a pattern coming through this year, which has really been some of the frequencies pouring over into the next month and the month after. So that probably started happening around August where there was mixed frequencies and delayed conclusions coming through. So for you guys mid-month, I am feeling you may feel you took a wrong course of action or you're looking at the way you're looking at love and thinking maybe you could react to it a different way or choose a better way in which to deal with it or a new path completely. Again, it can be that uh, the way in which you're learning now is through a physical teacher or through your guides actually protecting you and showing you in the 3D that perhaps you are on the wrong path. Okay, but it's a download. It's really you are your guides are protecting you. They're showing you uh, this new way of doing something, and you're having this deep spiritual connection. And again, it can be connected to a counterpart um, that maybe you felt a very separate frequency. There was a lot of trigger points and reactions, but you're really coming into duality within yourself and having this realization of how you directly need to do it. You are really walking in the aspect of integrity and perhaps looking at a way you can deal with the situation with integrity, but still with the commonality of a great outcome, so to speak. It's been taking, <laughs> this is the dreaded card that we all do not want to have, patience. Patience is a virtue. It was something my mother always told me and I was like, I don't want to hear that. You've had to really form some patience through this or the counterpart regardless, but patience is really the lesson at the core. Sometimes even feeling is this path ever come, going to come about that I can be on my correct path to love uh, with this person. Feeling really disheartened by it, where you stand, moving into Christmas and New Year's, etc. It can be very disheartening, but the patience is of the um, the essence right now. You're questioning whether you're unconditionally loved. You also may not be directly communicating with them. But I feel it's due, I don't feel it's due to their feelings. I feel it's due to the 3D of what you're seeing or past tense energies of what you experienced. If Some of it I'm feeling like a weight on my shoulders. It's been a great weight. But really clear your chakras to a point where you feel balanced. I'll tune into their energies, counterpart energies, and then I'll come back to yours again because I feel it's going to give me more information after. If you are dealing with an earth sign, it can be that, you know, when you speak it's on deaf ears and you're communicating at a different level. It can be that they didn't listen to you connected to a path and the way that you're handling things or the energy again can go vice versa. But I do feel uh, you may not have heard from them in a while and this is what's triggering the direct um, vibration that you feel you're not on the correct path. But again, because you have physically been undergoing a transformation, many times this is why energies are physically removed in order for you to have a spiritual transformation. Air signs. Interesting. Heart, heart energy. Move. Again, them dealing with their heart chakra and you dealing with your ascension transformation, you know, you learning something about life, <laughs> coping with the aspect of the unknown but still vibrating at that frequency of love, 
both you and you and the air signs are really mirroring each other in this this energy right now there may again not be communication but i actually feel for you guys you probably will hear from the air signs but the communication is choppy it's not not aggressive perhaps on your side with the trigger points but i feel more so in a sense of you undergoing your transformation and feeling very separate to them um, that in your own life, separate to love, it, it feels very confusing at this point. <clears throat> Spiritually, you're both bound together, that there is this very deep connection. Um, but both of you are dealing with past tense energies as well in an aspect of healing. You, I feel, you feel you're in quite a dark place at the moment emotionally, connected to romance. And how life is moving forward for you. Fire signs. They do have a lot of passion for you. But again, I do feel it is connected to you where you're feeling uncertain about your life. Almost like, you know, when you go through that awakening, you know, you tend to move away from friend groups. And then it can be jobs moving and then home movement and just everything changing so much that it feels very unnatural. There's deep love and passion and the air signs really do have the power in their hands to transform their life. And it may be an energy where you're looking at this and, and you're thinking you're not evolving, but you actually are. Even if the communication again is not there, what is going on with this person is they're having this realisation of this passionate connection with you. They're really balancing their energy. <clears throat> Water signs. They're really seeing the truth. Okay, Refu refusing to see in reverse. They're seeing the truth. They have a realisation. It does mean to say they're communicating right away. I feel more the unconditional love and the communication factor is directly connected to counterparts or love interests, not you. The reason I'm saying this, especially with the water signs, is that they're seeing the situation. Yes, they do have the blue for the throat chakra. So it can be vice versa. Either you're not wanting to talk to them or they're not talking to you. But confusion is happening on your side, nevertheless, where, you know, you're looking at your life and wondering where to go from here. You want the romantic communication. They're very much seeing the truth and it might be they're speaking truth and you're thinking, no, I want more love truth, not truth truth. <laughs> um, but there is a delay in the communication, but they're really coming full circle. So are the fire signs. They're really coming into duality as well. Earth signs are as well. Air signs, they have, but they're moving into a cycle. They've come into duality, but they're moving through a cycle. Now, they're at a seven. So external to you, they have dynamics going on where their hands are tied. It may be uh, money. It might be. It, I feel they need a break in a sense to repair. I don't feel it's connected to you, though. I feel it's more in their own life. They might, some may be in a connection where they're tied and they haven't moved yet. And again, it can be due to Christmas. But they do have a lot. They're, they're trying to manifest it in. And they are coming from the heart. Okay. Let's have another double look. I feel you guys are going to three individuals to actually communicate with them and process this spiritual connection. The male energy is very neutral. The female energy is older, but you have one in particular who might trigger you to feel that you're on the incorrect path, but they're, they're actually channeling more so from the perspective of doing such in order for you to gain the power to go back on your road. Uh, so... Sometimes when somebody triggers us, we can say, oh, this is their belief system. Therefore, you know, especially when the ego is imbalanced and the fair base factors are coming up, doing that little talk on our shoulder. 
we can then go outside of ourselves to gain clarity. And when we do that, we may then attract that similar frequency to, to address that direct trigger or that block. And if they aren't developed to that point, or they are, but they're doing it in a particular way, <clears throat> the way in which they transmute it to you is directly what you're fearing over the reality of the situation. And then you feel some sort of way, but then you resolve it to knowing it's your scarred path. But I feel while well, you're giving your power away outside of yourself and not grounding yourself in this cosmic connection, looking outside of yourself to other individuals, you're not in that frequency of unconditional love and communication because you're communicating outside instead of inside and then directly to the individual. Does that make sense? Some of you might not be able to communicate directly with them, but when you resolve the energy and the frequency inside yourself, it sets the tone. So I'll leave it there. Love and light. Happy New Year. God bless.